Up first today, what is wrong with the NFL? Early this morning, star running back Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings turned himself into authorities in Texas to face child abuse charges. He admits to having hit his four-year-old son with a tree branch repeatedly. The indictment says the little boy suffered substantial injuries. Peterson says, I did nothing wrong. I was just spanking my child. So what is wrong with the NFL? Adrian Peterson will not be playing for the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday, but around the league, at least 10 convicted or suspected domestic abusers are scheduled to take the field. One is Carolina Panther Greg Hardy, defensive end who's been convicted, not accused, convicted of beating his ex-girlfriend, throwing her across a room and trying to strangle her. And there's San Francisco 49er Ray McDonald. He was arrested two weeks ago, accused of beating up his pregnant fiance. Ray Rice, of course, will not play. As the whole world now knows, he was fired from the Baltimore Ravens for delivering that awful knockout punch to his then fiance in an Atlantic City elevator. But others are avoiding suspension because in the past, the league has been disgracefully lenient. Meanwhile, who the heck is advising NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell? By any standard, his handling of the Ray Rice scandal has been a PR disaster. So let's talk to an expert in crisis management, somebody who knows the NFL well, Lanny Davis, former White House special counsel to President Bill Clinton. He has also represented Washington Redskins owner Daniel Snyder. Lanny, thank you so much for being here. If Hi, today Michael. you were whispering in the ear of Roger Goodell, you'd be telling him what? Well, first of all, I'd be telling him to restate that he got it wrong to begin with when he only imposed a two-game suspension based upon the first videotape that he saw. He said he got it wrong. Now he's got to expand on that. I happen to think that he not only got it wrong for only doing two games, I would recommend a full year suspension for the first incident of domestic violence to send a message to all men, including uh, uh, Adrian Peterson, that violence, whether it's women or children, is not acceptable and you're not playing in the league for one year. In the second incident, it's suspension indefinitely. So that's what he got wrong. And now I think he needs to be more forthcoming about exactly what he plans to do going forward for all these other incidents that we're now hearing about of men who play football who think violence is okay on the field and violence is okay off the field because it's off the field. They need to be told that there is no distinction. When you're violent against women, you're out. You don't play football. And at least for one year, you never play football. And if you do it a second time, you're out forever. I read your book. I know the mantra, the Lanny Davis mantra. He did not tell it all, tell it early, nor tell it himself. Uh, no, he didn't. And I think that not asking the casino for the uh, second videotape was a mistake. I think he's right that law enforcement during a grand jury proceeding wouldn't turn over that tape. But I also would beg to differ that you uh, characterize that there were facts about what was told behind closed doors. Let's talk about Mr. Rice. Mr. Rice did not uh, follow my rules and was not honest with the public when he held a press conference. He didn't say, I cold cocked my girlfriend and that's right. why I dragged her out. He left that part out. And now he sends four anonymous sources to ESPN to say, I actually told Mr. Goodell that I cold cocked my girlfriend. When you have two people on the record, the president and the owner of the Ravens, disputing the anonymous sources. So at the very least, Mr. Rice has not followed any of the rules of crisis management. He did something terrible. He should take himself out of football for a year and get help and then go teach Lanny. other men not to touch women and not to be violent against women. Give me just 30 seconds on Adrian Peterson, today's latest ripple in this now ongoing NFL saga. How should Goodell respond to this? As strongly as striking a woman, certainly as strongly as beating up a child, much less his own child, he needs to be the teaching moment for this country about abusing children. And that should be part of the equation in the NFL off field behavior, whether it's drunken driving, whether it's violence against women and children. They are just as responsible off the field as on the field. That should Lanny be the Davis. message from Commissioner Goodell. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you.